Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my cooking channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a beef stroganoff. It's a very nice recipe. I love this recipe. There's plenty of variations to do, but my way is quite different. So stay with me and I'm going to show you what ingredients I'm going to use. chunks of beef, mushroom, red onion, you can use shallots or white onion, rosemary, sweet corn, cream, uh, beef stock, tomato puree, sweet paprika, garlic, some butter, French mustard, salt and pepper and here I'm using algae and now let's begin with the recipe. So let's quickly marinate the beef, add some olive oil, sweet paprika powder, some pepper, salt, some cumin powder, cumin always go well with the beef, now give a nice massage. I love the smell of cumin. Now let's start making this beautiful recipe. Now heat up a pan, super hot actually, and drizzle some olive oil. First, we will fry the beef, make it super hot the pan. Looks nice. Don't cook more than one or two minutes. Now it's ready. Take it off from the heat. Keep it aside. And let's do the rest of this recipe. Use the same pan now. Onions go in. Butter go in. Saute. Nicely saute. Transparent. Like I said, you can use shallots also or white onion. It's your choice. Now add the garlic. Saute also nicely together. Add rosemary, few sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme. Perfect. Smelling very nice. Now we will add the mushrooms. Let the mushroom reduce the water. Mushroom release the water already. Now what we will do, we will add the sweet corns. Saute a bit also nicely. At this stage we will add our French mustard. Now we will add the sweet paprika. Now we will add slowly, slowly al grey so it will leave the flavor. Now we will add the tomato puree. Superb. Nice color. Wow. Tea is evaporated, 
and meet the flavor with the gravy it's super nice at this stage we will add the beef stock now leave it and reduce it the quantity in half and then it's almost ready now you can see the gravy is getting thicker we will add the beef nicely mix so, and let it cook more about five to six minutes now we will add the seasoning pepper some salt according to your taste mix well in this stage I'm going to add a cream you can skip this part usually you add, you can add yogurt Greek yogurt or uh, cream but if you don't like you can totally skip it I like a little creamy texture so I will add a little bit of cream mix well let it cook up about two three minutes more and it's ready so it's ready now I taste it's infused with super nicely al grey tea I can feel it nicely now you know what I will do you know right yes I will do the plating now but before plating I will add some onion rings green onion rings like that and wait for the plating now so these are the plates I made for uh, plating uh, one in the bowl with pasta so I hope you guys like this recipe it's an easy going recipe you can have this with the rice you can have this with the bread uh, it's uh, almost going along with everything and uh, when you will make this recipe when you will try this recipe I want your comments below and let me know uh, how it is and uh, till then see you and keep watching my channel share with uh, others and uh, subscribe like and uh, thank you very much let's have it now bye bye